Hello, Libra darlings. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in This Bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, my loves. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, LaurelsMoon.com, for any of the magical purposes and deviation workings. And things of that nature. So spirit, you're welcome into this reading. Massage the cause for the gods. Here we go. Libra. Seeing that there could be some sort of codependency. Right? Could be some red flags that you need to pay attention to. Okay? You have the ten of physical energy here. So it could be some sort of home foundation. That you're trying to take care of, taking care of your business, okay? It could be due to home stability here. You also have a decision that's being made, okay? Someone could definitely be checking out their image with this two of pentacles, okay? She's got one in the mirror and she's got one behind her. So you could be juggling multiple things, like I said. It could be your image. Could be uh, home stability is definitely what I'm seeing here, okay? Knight of Wands. So making that action could be a love action as well that you're definitely dealing with. Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. I feel like with the Six of Swords and the Six of Cups, it's a lot of uh, communication that you're dealing with. Could be in health and science, that Virgo energy. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Could be in your sun, moon, arising, their sun, moon, arising. But I feel that you have a lot of choices and options um, that you're definitely trying to make a decision over, okay? Um, there could be, like I said, a lot of strife. Could be really guarded towards the situation, but I feel a lot of strength and patience that you guys have had for quite some time Libra okay let's see how they who's coming towards you coming into August possible Virgo Taurus Capricorn okay could be some communication some of y'all could have blocked communication off okay from this person but I'm definitely feeling like they're kind of anxious Definitely a lot of mass. With the strength energy, like I said, there was a lot of patience and compassion that's coming towards you. Okay, it could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, King of Wands again. Knight of Wands, King of Wands. A lot of fire energy here. So I feel like you guys are making final decisions. Okay. Definitely a lot of new ideas. Could be a new passion that you're dealing with as well. But I feel like with the Six of Wands, you feel like the struggle is definitely over because of these new ideas, these new passions that are coming to you. That's what's coming towards you for sure. Okay, Libra? I feel um, with the Six of Pentacles, there's a lot of sixes here. So definitely home help, uh, focusing your energy towards home. Someone could have been feeling left out. Okay, but they do want to definitely come out of the cold with you. Three of pentacle energy here. So they're definitely trying to come out of the cold. They want to build up this energy towards you. But they also feel like it could be a battle or a struggle. Okay, some sort of defeat. Or feeling defeated overall. Uh, I feel like this could be uh, possibly you, possibly your person. But there's definitely a third party um, situation here that could have been in the past or definitely could have been a lot of heartbreak and strife due to this person in the past. I feel like there was a lot of uh, struggles here, a lot of losses that you've taken. You also have the lover's energy. You could have been dealing with a Gemini. Four of Wands coming in reverse. I feel like someone is definitely uh, knocking some instability down in order to regain their vision, okay? 
uh, five of wands energy coming in reverse. So a lot of you guys are definitely dealing with a lot of people or definitely we're choosing one. Okay. Somebody's on this Aladdin magic carpet ride. Okay. The lover's energy here. So somebody could be wanting that kiss. Good night. Some roses are definitely surrounded by you guys. So it could be some new energy uh, that you're dealing with. Some flowers. It's definitely indicating there's this new energy that you're coming coming out of, okay? I mean, you're coming into. So, let's see what you don't see. Okay, so I have the moon energy here in reverse. There's definitely a situation uh, that wants to restart that you're becoming aware to. I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay, underneath the surface, someone is definitely uh, a little bit different in their traditions, but they're also, uh, it looks to me like there's a lot of people around that could be hindering them from getting, you know, up that hill. You got the Ten of Wands and also the Hermit. So I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely dealing with someone um, that could be feeling a lot of imbalances, but they're also shutting themselves off they feel like they're carrying all the weights a lot of burdens okay cancer pisces scorpio here like i said you have the nine of pentacles and the ace of pentacle energy so libra what you don't see is that it's definitely a final decision that's being made it could be due to finances security stability uh being surrounded by your stability a decision that's being made for sure. You're trying to avoid toxic energy. You're trying to avoid having regrets and looking behind, okay? Uh, what you don't see is there's definitely someone who's called to think outside of the box. I feel like there's a lot of healing energy here. It could be someone who's at a distance as well with the Nine of Pentacles. Page of Cups as well. So, Libra, what you don't see is there's someone who's healing here. It could be due to a lot of toxic energy, but someone wants to make an action towards you, even though they feel like they're drowning, missing out. Okay. Could be feeling like you got them on a leash. Definitely a lot of belief systems that could be different or your traditional uh, setup for yourself um, between you and this person could be very different. Okay. Uh, I see that a lot of you guys could be dealing with some stability here. Four of Wands could be a marriage as well. Somebody going to the altar. But I feel like there's a lot of communication. Um, but due to the codependency, it could be that with the communication and the stability, there could be a lot of beliefs or differences that you're um, starting to see. Okay. Starting to become aware of. There, you could be enlightened as well with the Ace of Swords. Is what you don't see. It could be enlightened to a situation of how it doesn't work and how you could work together. So I feel like there's definitely a, uh, it could be a possible third party situation for some of you guys. But with this three of cups coming in reverse, you're not really seeing the joyous energy in this. There could be some player like energy around you. So definitely be aware of that. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. Uh, definitely some final decisions being made could be because of a family situation or it's due to someone who's not being very honest. Let's see what the seven of swords is all about. Yeah. Someone could have a really sharp tongue. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Definitely a lot of sword energy here. Okay. Uh, seven of swords as well. Someone who's lying about some things. Definitely being deceptive. So. It feels to me like you're just going to keep on trucking, all right? Uh, there could be a new start or a new beginning is what you don't see. Definitely some sort of love offer here with the Ace of Cups. But someone feels like it's quite hard to manifest with the Magician Energy and also with the Queen of Cups coming in reverse. A lot of emotions um, that aren't really being displayed right now. This person has a hard time displaying their emotions, all right? I feel like there's a truth that's going to come out even if they don't talk about it. Okay, Libra. So for some of you guys, it's a lot of happiness coming your way. The Nine of Cups and the Six of Wands. Okay, Libra. Underneath the surface, you're starting to see some success. 
Okay, it could be some family situations, some financial situations you're needing to take care of. But overall, I feel like there is going to be emotional love and stability here. Now, for some of you guys, you could be wanting to see that rainbow gumdrop shit with the family or whatever. But I feel like there could be some issues, like I said, with finances. But overall, underneath the surface, there's definitely some happiness coming your way, Libra. Okay, talk to me. Could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But there could be some people who have a lot of admiration for you in the background, some jealous people. So definitely be aware of that. But this is the communication card, okay? Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely um, making some new changes. You have the world energy here and the queen of swords. So this is definitely you. I feel a lot of you guys are trying to make things happen, trying to make things grow, trying to stretch them um, to where they can work. You have the magician energy here. Some of you guys could be dealing with the occult, could be magic as well in the magic realm. But someone is in their power and manifesting is what I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. They got everything on the table and this crystal ball. So... Let's see about possible outcomes. Okay. Ten of Cups. Seven of Swords. Oh, okay. And the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So, I feel possible outcomes. There's definitely some sort of love situation that you're trying to manifest. But at the same time, it's kind of like, is this person lying? And do I need to steal some time away to get some clarity? Because you have the Nine of Swords and also the Seven of Swords. So definitely a lot of clarity time. Could be that you're blocking a vision or there could be a vision that's being blocked. But with this Ten of Cups, somebody, you know, really could just be drunk in love, right? Uh, but I feel it's a lot of drinking here for some of you guys. It could be just anxiety or depression. So be aware of that. Or feeling like there's a loss overall and having to take some loopholes to get to certain uh, places. Now, with the Page of Swords, I feel like there's definitely some spying here. Could be guarding yourself. Four of Wands energy here once again. So definitely taking care of your home stability is what I'm seeing here. Stability overall. Finances. Okay. Home. People. The people in your surrounding energy. Uh, I do feel overall that you guys are definitely dealing with um, someone who's very emotional, but has a hard time displaying their emotions. Now, you have the justice energy and the devil. So there could be something that's fair and square and even coming out of a third party situation for sure. You have a lot of threes coming in reverse. So I feel like there could have been a third party situation that definitely was on the side or something that someone needed to cancel out. Could be a toxic energy, could be addictions, sex, drugs, rock and roll, whatever the fuck. But a lot of you guys are getting your equal justice, all right? You also have the King of Cups. So I feel like you're ready to take that love action, ready to take a leap. You also have the Will of the Year. It could be some money energy here too. But you have the will of the year in the chariot. Okay, you guys are definitely pulling the strings, drawing forward in a, a lot of movement. And I feel like a lot of you guys just ain't gonna take no shit. All right, could be coming out of those third party situations that you didn't want to analyze anymore. Okay, someone could be definitely missing you from afar. So, Libra, <laughs> somebody wants your baby. All right, uh, I feel like there's definitely some sort of new energy that's coming in, so be aware of that. Somebody is uh, wanting you from afar. You have the Nine of Cups here, so once again, it's telling you that you're going to be getting your way here pretty soon, right? It's It's been a deep, long ride, but you're going to get your way pretty soon. All right, Libra? I love you guys. If you need to get a personal read, hit that description box down below. Peace.